Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel so today we're going to be continuing with our guides for Final Fantasy 15. So in the last video we showed you how to power level Ignis's cooking up so in today's video we're going to be showing you how to power level Noctis's fishing skills. So this is by far the hardest and most annoying one to get to level 10 uh, though it is quite a fun mini game but nonetheless it is pretty complicated but I'm going to show you today some tips to get this to level 10 as fast as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the best rod in the game, which is the Tranquility. Now, to do this, uh, we are gonna have to do Navis uh, side quest. Uh, apart from being pretty fun, and obviously apart from getting the best rod in the game, which in general will speed the whole process up a lot, uh, we are going to level up a whole bunch in these side quests because it is all to do with fishing and we're going to catch a lot of fish. So to do Navis first quest, we're going to come over here near the big pond here where we come into this guy. Uh, so he is going to ask us to catch a Crag Barramundi. So depending on how late you're doing this and how much you've fished in general, you may even already have one of these fish so if that's the case then give it to him if not there's a fishing spot right next to him and it's pretty easy to get anyway once we've done that the second place we're going to find Nabith is all the way up north here where the rib is split into two this time he's going to ask us to catch a cherry comb trout so the only special uh, condition we have to do is either really early in the morning or in the afternoon. Uh, to make sure to play it safe, you should camp right uh, next door and come down to the river as soon as you wake up. That way you know it's morning enough. And yeah, it's a pretty easy fish to catch as long as it's morning time, pretty common. Once you've done that, he is going to give you the butterfly edge rod, which is the rod we should be equipped in from here on out for the two remaining Naviths quest uh so anyway the third place we're going to meet him is down by the vespa pool so this time he's going to ask us to catch a vespa gar so this gets a bit more complicated uh this is my setup i use to catch this fish uh this guy is not going to appear on the mini map so try and aim where there's not many fish for me he spawned over here top left corner twice and yeah this guy's going to take a bit of reeling in and this guy really is brutal on his turns and that's what's going to affect the uh, line breaking but just be patient and keep an eye on the fish and yeah keep an eye on when he is turning around and try and play it safe for the last Navith side quest we're going to go all the way back to the bay at the start and we're going to try and catch the devil of the Sigillion. so this fish is either first or second hardest in difficulty to catch on the game we'll be talking about the other one in a second so to catch this this is my setup just here uh, like last time this guy's not going to appear on the mini map Normally he spawns around the middle, sometimes he may be surrounded by fish, so it's probably recommended to get rid of a lot of the fish, just so you have a clearer view. So yeah, once we catch this guy, we are going to get the best rod in the game, which is the Tranquility. And you know, we should have leveled up a fair amount just by doing these side quests. And yeah, so the next thing we want to do is go to get the best reel. So to do this is very simple, all we have to do is go to Altitia. And here we want to go to the Colosseum and we want to save up 80,000 tickets. And once we've got those tickets, we can trade it in for the Lime Lamb, which is the best reel on the game. So what we want to do once we've got those two things, we want to go to the campsite at the Vesper Pool. And uh, this is going to activate a bit of a side quest with Gladius. He's going to ask us if we would like to go and catch the Liege of the Lake. And we're obviously going to go and say yes because this is a very rare fish and it's going to level us up quite a bit. So this is the setup I use for this fish and it's very similar to the the last fish we just caught, the legendary devil of the Sigillion. So yeah, this is going to level us up quite a bit too. So once we've got all that and we've got our best reel, we've got our best uh, rod, what we're going to do is we're going to camp at the Vesper Pool and just catch as many fish as possible because this is the area with the more rarer or the more variety of fish we can get so yeah you just want to stick there but at this rate you should be at least level seven or eight so it shouldn't take too long to get that level 10 and yeah guys as you can see this was actually the last thing i did before getting the platinum so yeah guys hopefully this was helpful if it was please go like and subscribe remember you can follow me on twitter you can support the channel more directly on patreon it's much appreciated we'll see you next time guys